to the Community Super League. Maria here from Magic the Amateuring, joined by my good friend, the Professor, ready to commentate on a great match based around Tribal Wars. I'm excited. Uh, what are you most excited for to see in this coming match, Professor? We've got two pretty spicy decks, I must say. That's right. We've got Kenji playing his aptly titled deck, Caw, Caw, Caw. And, and look who's then, joining me. Vegas oh, my Frank goodness. Here. Surprise guest star. Surprise <laughs> guest. Hey, everybody. I finally, I finally got released from my work obligations. <laughs> Megan's here. Yay. So, yes, you were saying Kenji's playing a deck called Caw, Caw, Caw. No, That's no, no, right. it's caw, 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 not caw, caw, caw. You're mispronouncing the it's oh, a, am it's I? A rising, yes. falling tone. Rising, oh, falling yeah. is the way crows caw, talk. Caw, caw, caw. And while right. his, there you go. Uh, his chosen tribe was Scarecrow, uh, he also has an interesting combo in here with the cards um, Painter's Servant and Grindstone. Oh, I'm so glad you showed up, Megan. <laughs> kind of his backup win condition if he can't win with that reaper king which is just uh for straight off an incredible ca card to give scarecrows plus one plus one when a scarecrow enters a battlefield destroy target permanent yeah. uh the downside is that it costs 10 uh the upside is is that his deck it does is placed to be able to cast it with things like Mox Opal and Ancient Tomb, but if, yeah. if that plan doesn't work out, he's got a backup. That's true. Although I have to say that I saw him practicing this deck on his stream the other day, and I certainly saw him Painter's Servant and Grindstone kill his opponent many more times than I saw him cast Reaper King. <laughs> so we'll see. I feel like this has been a, a you know, it's, it's a it's a sneaky way to get a really exciting combo in there. Painter's Servant, of course, uh, lets you name a color, and all permanents, whether they're lands or in your hand or in your deck, become that color. And then that means that grind Grindstone just is able to just boom. mill everything. Everything. Get awesome on out deck. of there. This deck is incredibly flavorful. I just really like it, Megan. I don't know. He was pack one, pick one. He went Scarecrow's. A tribal right out of the gate. Absolutely, a little bit surprising, maybe to everybody. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was surprised. <laughs> well, it's a, it's actually a widely played uh, deck in Legacy, and so we're getting, I think, a crash course in some Legacy favorites tonight. What with Eternal Masters on the way out. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Let's take a look at Aaron Forsythe's Forsyth, deck. Ugh, yeah, he I made a little out. bit of a more we traditional... We will look at Aaron Forsyth's deck next. <laughs> First card up is Afflicted Deserter. Uh, right, he, he chose the very flavorfully Innistrad Werewolves. Yes. Which is also very exciting. Yeah, his deck is packed full of all of the best werewolves and all of the best werewolf enchantments and instants. It's even got Arlen Cord hanging out in here. Uh, I mean... This deck and is also just a good. blood moon, and also a blood moon because yeah, so. that, kind, that kind of works, but it also destroys your opponent's mana base, especially <laughs> if you're in five color. Absolutely. Although I have to say, I I do think that he gets flavor points for the blood moon. Oh, the blood moon for sure. Every sure. werewolf needs a blood moon to howl at. But Absolutely. yeah, this deck is just good cards, uh, and Kenji is going to have you know he's kind of got some fun stuff going on, but is he going to be able to stand up? To just a, a big, tough, you know, power and toughness werewolf coming, coming at us, tiny little scarecrows. I don't know. Exactly, scarecrows built to scare crows, not wolves. It's very, very true. There's a card in here I want to point out: Afflicted Deserter, uh, which transforms and uh, can destroy target ar artifact and deal three. Uh, Kenji's deck with a lot of scarecrows, a lot of artifacts. Mmm, scarecrows, artifacts. Yeah, you would think they would be. White creatures? No, artifact yeah. creatures. <laughs> well, you build it. It's uh, haven't you ever? You, you you both are from the Midwest. I assume you build lots of scarecrows. It's well, a yes, it's I, a I, construct. I, you know, it's it's my favorite weekend event. Yeah, right, I've, got, right. I've got about five of them in my backyard right now. <laughs> it's terrifying, frankly. All right, well, our players are ready. We're gonna head down to the battlefield to see this matchup: Kenji versus Aaron, uh, scarecrows versus werewolves. Welcome to the match between Kenji 
Ega Shira and Aaron Forsyth, werewolves versus scarecrows. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, he's got the servant in his opening hand and an ensnaring bridge. That's oh, wow. A, that's a card that we didn't point out that could prove very problematic for Aaron's deck if he doesn't have a way to get rid of it. Uh, ensnaring bridge is an artifact that for three mana says creatures with power greater than the number of cards in your hand can't attack. Yeah, and that's exactly what Aaron wants to do. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> When you're a werewolf, there's only one thing on your mind, attacking. The second thing might be human blood, but uh, this is magic. It's a card game. It's not real life. So turn uh, one funny. faithless looting's going to happen here. Oh, yeah. There's a card in Kenji's hand, uh, Gamble, which I think is kind of funny, where you can play, go get a card, and then you just have to discard a card at random. <laughs> and he just did it. And he had to discard, what did he discard? A Wicker Witch. So that's probably not what he went to get. Oh, uh, actually, Wicker Witch and Gamble are the two cards that he discarded oh, I see. Faithless Looting. Oh, I see, okay. Faithless Looting, you have to discard, uh, you get to draw two, but then you also have to discard two cards. Yeah, he's, he's well, the fact that he's throwing away a tutor means he's got what he wants in his hand right oh. now. I mean, it's looking very pretty. Absolutely. And it looks like, though, that Aaron's going to be able to put him under some pressure right off the bat with this Lambhold Pacifist, which can't attack until he controls a creature with power four or greater, but it's still a 3-3 three, three body for two mana. What I'm yeah. really confused about is how that Pacifist is always kicking my butt in limited if it's a Pacifist. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. It certainly seems to do a lot of attacking for a pacifist. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when you're a werewolf, you can be a great guy during the day, and at night you're a monster, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. We do see, though, that Kenji now has the combo in hand. Uh, he has a grindstone. Oh! And Painter's Servant on the battlefield. So this uh -oh. could be a very quick game one. So we have an Ember Wolf there. That's a cool creature. Yes, it says for a one green, one green and a red, it has intimidate and gives other wolves uh, plus one plus one, which uh, makes that lamp pacifist able to attack. It sees itself as a four four creature. It and also says non-human wolves can't transform. That's pretty neat upside. Oh yeah, so once they're werewolves, they, they are stay always werewolves. werewolves. Now, Unfortunately, does... Kenji is about to kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's de he's 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 dead already. I mean, we're pretty much moving on to game two in a second. But uh, d has Aaron put in any type of uh, disruption to his deck, or did he go full out aggro here? Because in his colors, he could have something like an ancient grudge, which would be flavorful because one piece of art does have a werewolf on it. Uh, but I don't think he has anything in his deck that's going to help him out no. too much. Looking at the list, the closest thing. Mm mm. No, I don't think so. Straight, straight aggro build. Absolutely. So he's just going to have to cross his fingers and hope that Kenji doesn't hit that combo before he's able to kill him. So Kenji taking game one. We're on to game two here. And he's got the painters right in his opening hand again. Uh, Aaron has Arlen Cord, meanwhile, hanging out in his hand. It's not too bad in your opening hand, along with another Lamholt pacifist. The problem, I think, is going to be making it to turn four to cast Arlen. <laughs> well, no grindstone yet for Kenji. Oh, just oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, as though it's, it's as though it heard you say its name. Uh, Kenji's first draw is a grindstone. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so sad. Some of these decks tonight are just completely smashing face on turn two and three. Absolutely. Well, that's what that's what happened. We did have the the you know you had to construct a deck that had a tribe, but it was also legacy legal yeah. cards, and there are some very broken things that you can do in legacy. Aaron, there's playing. also some very fun things you can do in legacy. Just just in <laughs> legacy's defense, I feel like legacy has gotten a bad rap here tonight. Oh, legacy I'm not saying is a that fun format. <laughs> Absolutely, and you seem to you seem to be thinking that when I say broken, I mean not fun. In my oh, world, that's right. broken that's things player. are very fun. <laughs> well, another quick game here as Kenji yeah. dispatches Aaron's oh, wolves. Oh my goodness! With his well, grindstone. That was a hard. That was some hard commentary here tonight. Uh, 
Absolutely. I got a quick question since we're up against each other next. Why yeah. no rhino tribal, Megan? Why no rhino tribal? Yeah, Megan. Uh, yeah. Could have well, seized rhino. You could have done a whole play set of siege rhinos. For absolutely. those unaware, Megan, her favorite card in the world is siege rhino. It's she has fast. gotten so excited about it. In absolutely. The past. Yep. As a self identified blue mage, siege rhino, I think, is the best card that's really ever been <clears throat> printed by like, Wizards just, of the Coast. Remember, language, language. we got to keep it clean here when you're talking about <laughs> that. I just saw that forming. I said it was coming. my favorite. Yeah. It was my favorite, favorite card, card they've ever printed. Right. Steam coming out the ears. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> All right. Well, Kenji has made mincemeat of the one and only Aaron Forsyth here tonight. That's right. That brings Kenji overall Kenji's overall record in the league to one and two, and Aaron's to one and two as well. So they are evened up in terms of the standings. We're sitting down here, uh, getting ready to go against you, the professor, at one and one. What's your record currently? What, my my re my record is also one and one. All right, excellent. all right. So this is this is really a match on which so much hangs. Yeah, that's very true. That's right. Uh, whoever wins tonight will be victorious. I have a question the for you, though. That is the definition winner. of yeah. winning. I can the the winner will be the winner. I teach English and I speak well. <laughs> is your deck uh, more unfair or fun, Professor? It's merfolk. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's merfolk. I love merfolk. It's merfolk. I built merfolk. Legacy tribal. That's merfolk. I thought I was going up against elves and goblins, and apparently I'm a horrible person. I just like merfolk, all right? I got a merfolk deck over here. I love merfolk. It's my favorite tribe. It's merfolk. Why did you yes. guys pick hounds? Mer merfolk, for all of the people who are confused and thinks think that blue should for some reason be aggressive and play a bunch of creatures. <laughs> I mean, there are misguided souls <laughs> out there. Yeah, all we right, picked so towns. Yeah, come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, we picked towns for a reason, which you will hopefully discover if our deck gets a chance to play out. Uh, that is a threat. That is a threat. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, right. will see what our deck is about if it gets to play out. Because it's not only tribal themed, it's also got another theme going on. Which is its title. Yes. <laughs> So we went for the double flavor win this week. We'll see if we can stay alive long enough <laughs> to give the viewers some a peek at it. So, so when oh, uh, we are going to go look at some wonderful advertisements for products that you may wish to buy uh, and think about. Maybe that you would be interested in them. You're a great salesman. I am a great salesman usually. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. All right. Well, we, we look forward to seeing you and your merfolk on the battlefield in just a few. Yeah. Really? 